Hey everybody, this is Alex with GuitarForce.com. Today I'm going to try to explain how to play Voice of the Soul by Death. Uh, now this was a supported request by Tendency, so thank you very much, man. I hope you like this lesson. Uh, now this song is pretty busy. I mean, um, we have quite a bit of work to do here. And uh, as you know, it's an instrumental, so there is, uh, like I said, you know, quite a bit of parts to be explained. Um, and uh, there are also two guitars playing here and also an acoustic guitar for the rhythm uh, for the rhythm section and I'm going to touch upon that as well if you are interested in how to play the, uh, the uh, rhythm part the acoustic um, uh, part of this song so I don't know how long this lesson is going to turn out to be um, uh, I might break it down into two parts, I don't know, we'll see, but uh, bear with me, like I said, there is quite a bit of uh, uh, explanation to do. Okay, um, now the uh, tabs are going to be available at guitarforce.com for free as usual. Um, as far as uh, sound, oh yeah, regarding the uh, cover, uh, the playthrough of this song, I'm going to post the link in the description box down below and also I'm going to post a link on the screen so if you're interested you know to see in close up all of the parts how how they are played both of the guitars and the acoustic as well you can check it out there uh, as far as the sound I was using again the VST plugin guitar rig and as usual I'm gonna post uh, the uh, picture of the preset that I was using on the screen and um, while you're checking out the picture here is my uh, low E for your tuning reference as you know it's in uh, D standard, so so here is my low E for your tuning reference. All right, so without further ado, let's go for the close-up and start the lesson. Alright, so before we get into the actual melody guitars, the electric guitars, let's uh, take a look at uh, the rhythm part, which is an acoustic guitar. Um, and uh, we're not going to spend too much time on that. I'm just going to outline the basic um, uh, rhythm figures and uh, the chords. And uh, you're going to be able to see in the tablature exactly the detailed uh, notes, how they played and uh, stuff like that. So. Um, the first, the intro part goes like this. Okay, so this is um, the main figure of the intro and we play it for 10 times. Um, now, what we do here, um, we play the low E open. Then we have a hammer-ons uh, on the B string from open to 5 to 7. Alright, and uh, when we get to the 7th fret, we let it ring out and also we pick the high E string. So we have... Okay, that figure. Then we pick the low E again. And then we play this. Which is again just hammer-ons from open um, on high E string open going five seven eight. It's kind of quick. Back to the seventh fret of uh, the high E string and then onto the eighth fret of the B string. All right. So what we have so far. Uh, then we play again low E string. And then we do kind of same thing on the B string. So we have uh, hammer-ons from open to 5, 7, 8, back to 7. So we have... Again, uh, picking the low E string. And then we do the same figure on the high E string. But then we add these two notes. Uh, which is 10th fret of the high E and back to 7 on B, okay? 
So slowly all of the parts go like this. So after that we go into the next part which is using the chords now and it goes like this. Okay, so this is the first part. Um, now the chords here we start with an E power chord again I'm not going to be explaining the uh, picking pattern for that is uh, the best way is just to listen to the original recording and uh, you know try to play with the recording uh, as for the picking pattern um, so the chords here we start with an E then we go back down to D back to E again back down to D then we go into F to G back to F again to G and back to E and the whole figure starts again so this figure we played for two times now alternatively instead of playing in this position you can play it here and uh, you, you will notice that uh, in this position the chords the strings um, sound more kind of brighter so um, you know you can use that position as well so playing here okay as you can see it sounds more kind of brighter and wider sound um, so this is the first part and then the second part is it goes like this Okay, so here again for the pattern is just uh, listen to the original track um, but basically the chords here we have E again to C so each of these chords we played for two bars then we back to uh, E again to C for one bar and then we go into A chord all power chords okay so this figure again we played for two times and the last time we uh, let uh, ring out when we reach the A chord okay after that we go into this arpeggiated figure which goes like this Okay, so again for the picking pattern I'm not going to go into um, details here you will see them um, in the tablature uh, as far as the chords the chords here we start off with uh, this A minor at 9 okay and then after that we go into C major 7 and all we do we just add that third uh, fret of the A string okay so these are the two uh, first chords and we play them for two times only the first time uh, after that we go into G chord right arpeggiating it again then we go into F just a F power chord to G again arpeggiating it like that then we go into A just playing the octaves so we have and then we play E minor at 9 looks like that and uh, basically we repeat uh, these chords um, 
um, that figure over and over until the end of the song and then in the very end the last part we are back to strumming the chords again and it goes like this <laughs> Okay, so I just played it once and uh, we play for three times, uh, but uh, we start, start with um, uh, the C power chord to B and then um, the figure itself has four chords. We are back to E, to D, to C and to B. And we play for three times like I said and in the end we stop at the B chord. And we have this um, last arpeggiating uh, figure which goes So like I said, when we reach the B chord, we just play kind of power chord And then um, the rest of the strings, the first, second and third are open And we just pick them in, and uh, in the end you know, just strumming this B chord with uh, the first three strings open. And basically that's it for the rhythm guitar. Like I said, I'm not going to go into too um, detailed um, explanation of this part. Uh, you will see them on tablature and just listen to the original track for the picking pattern. Um, so um, right now let's take a listen to the uh, intro part. Uh, of the song and we'll start explaining the um, electric guitars. So let's take a listen. Okay, so we're gonna divide this part and the rest of the song as well into two guitars. Obviously there are two guitars. And uh, the guitar number one is playing the melody on the lower strings and the second guitar is playing melody on the higher strings. And a lot of times they play similar or same parts, uh, just uh, an octave uh, apart from each other. So first we're gonna take a look at the lower guitar, uh, the guitar that is playing lower melody. And in the intro, the first uh, guitar is playing this. Alright, so what we do here, uh, I'm not going to explain every little detail of the uh, picking pattern here, because you can definitely hear what is he doing. Um, basically, I'm just going to outline uh, the, um, the frets and also where it's needed, I'm going to tell you how many times you should pick. Uh, but basically, he's just using uh, hammer-ons slides for the first part and uh, the melody, the lower me melody that I'm playing, I'm playing on the D string starting from the 9th fret, then 10, 12, 14, back to 12, back to 10, back to 9, okay? Then we go into higher part. So we start from 12th fret on the B string to 10. Uh, then we go, I'm sorry, to 8, 12 to 8 to 10. Back to 8 to 7. Now here we pick it three times, then we go on to the G string, 9th fret we pick it three times, to the 7th fret, 
pick it twice and we slide into the 9th fret again. You can either slide or you can hammer on, uh, whichever way you feel more comfortable. So this is the main melody for the first part and we play it for four times, however uh, the fourth time uh, when we play the lower melody after that the fourth time we go into the B note on the B string 12th fret faster all right? and uh, um, the melody slightly changes it goes so same notes same frets uh, the only difference is when we get to the G string, to the 9th fret, we pick it only once and then two times on the 7th fret back to 9th fret, okay? So just use your ears carefully um, and uh, you're going to be alright. Like I said, the first three times the melody is the same. The fourth time it's again kind of same but we go into the B note faster and we play on the G string less notes, alright? So this is the the first guitar which is playing the lower um, harmony of the uh, song, of the melody. Uh, now the second guitar which is um, playing higher no, higher melody on, on um, um, starting on the B string Right, so the first part is exactly the same as the lower guitar um, and then for the second part of that melody we slide into the 19th fret of the high E string and we play right, same pattern as we did here um, actually it's uh, exactly the same as the fourth time of the lower guitar Alright, so we go into 19th fret faster and um, we play this note only once which is on the um, 17th fret of the B string to 15 on the B, picking it twice and then sliding again back to the E note, okay? So we have Alright, so we repeat this again so we play this melody for two times then the third time it's uh, slightly different it goes so what we do here we go into the high E string 14th fret pick it again slide to 12th fret then from 12 to 15 then we go from 15 to 14, uh, down to 10th fret. Then we slide all the way up to 19th fret and we repeat the second part of the main melody. Okay. Then after that we have uh, these hammer-ons. So what we do here, we start from the 12th fret and uh, the rest of the frets are going to be 14, 15 and we play these so it's a hammer on pull-offs starting from 12 going 14, 15, 14 to 12 to 14 now we take the same idea and uh, we move up uh, one position to the, into the scale and now we have 14, 15, 17 frets of the high E and we play the same idea then we again change the position one more and now we have 15, 17, 19 alright, so we have and then we go up here to 24th fret of the high E string and we bend it uh, step and a half. 
All right, so we hold it, then we add some vibrato, and then we bend it even higher. Then we bring it down to the initial bend, and then the end of the melody is. which is on the B string, we play 17 two times, 19, and then from 19 to 20, and then we play 19, 20 to 19, okay? All right, so this is um, the second guitar, the, uh, which is playing the higher melody, like I said, um, and uh, this is basically the intro part and then we go into the next part which sounds like this So this next section starts off with a little bit of tapping and uh, we're going to start with the high guitar just because uh, the high guitar is uh, played first. Now um, for the tapping I'm using the B string and uh, for hammer-ons uh, the frets are going to be 12, 13, 15. Now for the tapping we have 19, 20 and 21. Now, uh, the hammer-ons are staying the same throughout the, uh, the whole tapping uh, figure. Uh, the only pattern changes is with the tappings, tapping notes. So the first one goes like this. Um, each of the taps we're going to um, tap onto the note and hold it for four beats, okay? So we have... Okay, and you can add the vibrato as well to the note, so it sounds nicely. And then after that, we change the pattern, which goes like this. And now it's going to be a little bit faster in, in, um, in regards of uh, tapping, changing the notes. So we have... Okay, so what we do here, we start... Um, just gonna call out the uh, the notes that we tap, and uh, the hammer-ons uh, are preceding the tappings uh, each time. So we have we start with 19, then we go to 20, then back to 19, then to 21, and from here we're gonna come back to the beginning of the um, to the figure faster. So we go back to 20 and to 19 and then we basically start the whole pattern again from uh, the uh, 19th so slowly it would be like this okay so nothing too complicated just once you get it inside your head and um, you know how to move uh, the tapping notes you're gonna be okay so for the first guitar that what we do that's what we do and then afterwards um, oh yeah another variation that you can use the tappings uh, are on the high E string now here is gonna be the hammer-ons are gonna be on the 7, 8 and 10th fret 
and the tappings are gonna be on the 14, 15 and 17. Uh, I'm using the B string just because um, it's easier for me afterwards to change uh, for the next pattern which is gonna include the uh, hammer-ons and pull-offs and uh, slowly it would go like this okay so what I do here just resting my finger on the 10th fret of the high E string and uh, we alternate <clears throat> all of the rest of the notes to that note so we have pull-offs basically so we start off with the 15 then go 14 12 14 12 14 15 14 15 17 now for 17 I'm using a, a tapping here just for this one note so for 17 we have then back to 15 14 12 14 15 12 okay so this is sort of one cycle of this rhythm figure and then it repeats again the whole thing from the start so slowly again goes like this okay so we play this figure for a couple of times and then in the end we do this So just tapping the 14th fret, and then uh, we go to the uh, 17th fret, but we have a passing note over the 15th fret. Okay, so we have. Okay, and uh, that's how this section ends. Um, actually, ends with uh, the next figure, which goes. So here, nothing too complicated, we go on the high E string between the 12, 14, 15, 17 fret and then go back down, just listen to the melody and we play it for a few times and then uh, the last two notes are going to be slide into the 20 fret to 19. Okay, so this is guitar number one or the higher guitar that is playing a higher melody. Um, the second guitar is playing again we start with the tapping and uh, I'm using the G string here uh, and they play as you can hear first uh, the high guitar is playing uh, hammer-ons and taps and then the second guitar comes in now for the second guitar I'm using uh, for hammer-ons I'm using G string going from 9 to 11 to 12 fret and uh, for the tapping we have uh, 16, 17 and 19 okay so same idea basically as for the higher guitar uh, but like I said it comes on a little bit later on so they kind of play between each other in the beginning but then uh, when they go to the faster part uh, they play uh, together at the same time and that's how you get this beautiful uh, harmony and then halfway through while the first guitar is still tapping the second guitar is changing and it plays you know this thing and um, what we do here is basically mimicking sort of the tapping um, rhythmically but we play it with peak obviously and uh, the notes here we start on the D string 14, 16, 17 then we play 12, 14, 15 on A and we play this for two times then we go 14, 16, 17 on G uh, back to the D string 
and we play it two times. Uh, now, like I said, it's mimicking the tapping, so listen carefully when they change um, the tapping going from faster to slower, okay? But basically, that's it. We go, um, we play this on this string from the beginning. <laughs> So we got so far, then we play again on A string, back to D string again, back to A again, and to the G. So practically we're playing it twice, uh, with the exception of uh, the, the last time we just play uh, on the D string and we hold on onto that note on the the G notes on the 17th fret of the D string alright for for uh, for some time and then afterwards actually let me play that uh, slow uh, that uh, picking pattern so it goes like this And then afterwards we have this figure slowly. Okay, so now I'm not going to explain each of uh, the notes that have been played here because it's going to take a long time. But basically we're playing just one figure and we're repeating it again. And uh, in the tablature you will see exactly the notes, how they played. I'm just going to play really slow so you can see and hear how the uh, figure goes. And I'm going to play it once and basically we play this figure for a few times. So here we go, slowly. So like I said, we played for a few times, and then the last part of uh, this section goes like this. So here we have uh, just this little melody, which is on, which is played on the G string, going from 14 to 16, then slide up to 19th fret back to 17 and then we are playing harmonizing that part but we are playing it uh, an octave lower and you can play it here so the frets here are going to be we're playing on a D string playing from 14, 16, 17, and 19. Now the last two notes are going to be here on the G string, sliding into the 17th fret, back to 16, okay? And uh, like I said, we are doubling up uh, the higher guitar and they're playing this melody in octaves. So um, this is this section, now let's take a listen to the next one and we'll break it down. <laughs> 